guys, so this video is going to be a review slash first impressions of the Tresemme Expert Selection and it's the conditioner and shampoo. And I say it that way because it's conditioner first and then shampoo second. So I got this from a package I ordered from Superdrug and it came with my thing that I ordered. I thought this was like really different from anything I've seen before because it's you condition your hair first, not second. I'm just gonna say it beforehand, I really like this. I think it was good enough for me to want to buy a full size and I'm not exactly sure if they have it for full size like you can buy it here in the US since this came from Superdrug which is in England. I probably should have looked up if they sell it here before I film this video. I don't know, that may have been a smart idea. So basically I'm gonna tell you the routine that I did for this so usually for like my hair so first I will use shampoo and then I will rinse that out and then put conditioner in and then after I condition my hair I kind of put it up in a clip at the top of my head so that the water doesn't kind of touch the ends and rinse out the conditioner before I wanted to so I do that and then wash my body all that stuff and then I rinse the conditioner out and so with this I obviously had to kind of switch up my routine a little bit and so I did the conditioner first and you're supposed to leave it in for one minute so I Condition my hair, put in a clip on top of my head, and then I washed my body. And then once I was done with that, I rinsed out the conditioner, put in the shampoo, and then I rinsed out the shampoo. And so it wasn't such a big, like, thing for my shower routine. I just had to, like, reverse a few things. So it didn't really change up anything. So I thought was really nice that it was just really easy. It's really easy to use. One, obviously, kind of bad point about it is it's a sample. So you're not getting that much product. I think I got about that much product. And for me personally, that's not enough. Um, I would use that plus a half to double the amount. But I mean, it's a sample size. So it's like, you can't really do anything about it. But like I said, it was super easy to use. And I'm sure that with a little more product for me it would work just as fine what it did do is actually make my hair super soft and so my, like my curl like my hair is curly by the way I have very curly hair it's also oily so that's the kind of hair I have um, and it's also kind of thin I have semi thin hair I would say but like my curls have kind of dropped a little because I've been touching my hair so much because my hair is so soft and the usual shampoos and conditioners I use are either Garnier um, herbal essence. Um, I do use Tresemme sometimes and I love trying out new products like with anything with makeup skincare Hair stuff like I'm always all about trying new products and finding new things that I like and this is actually something that I really like and I want to buy so I also feel like my hair frizz level is not as bad as it is Normally my hair is very frizzy like that's just that's just how it is it goes along with the curls I hate it. I feel like the frizz wasn't so bad with this um it wasn't as frizzy on this side this side was more frizzy but i mean it wasn't like i said it wasn't too too bad and curl wise i feel like my curls are generally the same so for curling products i only have one product in my hair right now and it's not even a curling product it's actually this infusium 23 a moisture replenishing one and this is the kind of third step because this is a shampoo conditioner and then a leave-in treatment and this is the only thing i have in my hair and it's just in the ends i usually use the diva curl spray i use that usually i spray that all over my hair to help my curl but because i wanted to test out this product i didn't use any of that and so the curl for this it's generally the same um, my hair is, has a mind of its own and so the curls can be really tight and curly and big one day and then just kind of more loose and not as curly on another day it all depends it's whatever it wants to do generally my curls right now so i will say um kind of one downside to it is when you wash your hair like at least for me like i go into the shower and my hair is well today my hair was very greasy and kind of gross like it, i needed to wash it i had just wet it so it's kind of like it's just like kind of gross because it's all gross and then you wet it and it's even more gross so putting conditioner onto that kind of hair was a very odd thing for me it didn't feel like it would have like it was doing anything because you know i just like my hair was kind of gross and I just put conditioner on. Condition is supposed to condition and moisturize your hair and it didn't feel like it would do that because the dirt and the gunk is still on your hair. So I don't really know what, I don't exactly know what the benefits of doing this is, but I mean, it worked, but it was just weird to put conditioner onto like dirty hair. The shampoo, I feel like lathered just like any other old shampoo. If obviously I had more, it would have lathered a lot more and I would have gotten a better clean on my hair. But like I said, that's 
pretty much I would buy the full product to really test it out but by this like I said that's size which it's a sample so you're obviously not gonna get that much anyway I feel like I'm like rambling and saying the same thing and another kind of downside to it is I don't know about you but my hair I have I get a lot of like dead hair so you know when like brush your hair and or like you run your fingers through your hair and then literally like a wig comes out in your hand yeah that happens to me and so, so usually when I wash my hair that helps to get those like dead hairs out but with this since I couldn't like wash my hair and like lather it first I didn't really get a chance to like get those like hairs that aren't kind of dead and just not doing anything out and so once I got out of the shower to brush my hair and like I would put when I put like this stuff in it I had like so much hair like I literally had a wig which usually doesn't happen because it mostly comes out in the shower that was another weird thing that if you couldn't get those like dead hairs they could be dead hairs i don't really know if you're a hair expert then maybe i'm wrong you can correct me in the comments but anyway it was just weird to not kind of get all that stuff out also one last thing that i really really like about this product is that it smells really really good i kind of forgot to say that but it smells so good like that was like the first thing i thought of was that oh my gosh it smells really good and my hair still smells good from it so that's another plus. So overall, I really enjoyed this product and I don't know if I mentioned this, but I mean, this is obviously not sponsored. Like I literally got two samples of it from a thing that I ordered from Superdrug, so not sponsored at all. I just really liked it and so I thought I would make a video talking about it. Yeah, I really like it. That damn garage is so freaking loud. And of course my room is right over the garage. So every time someone opens and closes it, you hear it? Are we good? We done? Okay. Like I was saying before the garage door rudely interrupted, I really like this product. If they sell it here, I really want to try it out because I feel like after using this for a while, that's when you really know a product and know that it'll work. Um, my first impression of this is that I really like it. I really enjoyed it. Two thumbs up and I would buy it. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave a link. I have like other review type of videos. I'll leave links to those down below. So if you want to go see any other ones, you can check them out. I know I'm not that great at them, but I'm trying to get better. So you can go watch those other videos. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you.